All right, let's do it, chat. I'm actually so excited for this game. House of Ashes. Play alone. Forever alone. And I'm not even sad about it. Wait. Cursed a card? This is already too scary for me. I don't... Oh, wait, what's this? Forgiving. Survival is expected. Challenging. Your skills will be tested. Lethal. Death is inevitable. Uh, alright, let's just do challenging. New save slot. Okay. Going straight in. Shit, I'm really excited. I'm gonna keep a pausing tally. Don't need to. Not gonna pause. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Others d d lead to death. Choose wisely. This is a zero death playthrough. Actually, guys, I think if you actually look through all my playthroughs, they're all very low death, man. Very, very low death rate. I'm proud of that. Oh shit, what the fuck? I thought that said awkward then, I was like, yeah, it fucking is. It's forehead staring at me. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Beratu, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods okay, chat, don't zone out. No. Pay attention. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. Goth boy, Clef. Wait, is this ancient Egypt? Love, Koji, thank you, Koji. Ah, Yo, Inkweaver, Ink thank you so much for the 18 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Good to see you. I hope you're doing good. We have our orders, Captain. It's ancient Iraq. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Whoa, Look that mask you. is fucking is sick. Is this one not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Dodge or time down. is no longer in our hands. Inkweaver? Thank you so much for the three gifted subs. I really appreciate that. You've gifted 11 to the channel now. Wait, did you get a new badge at 10? Or is it 15? That's absolutely huge. Inkweaver, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That is very, very generous. Thank you. Extra badger. I don't want to see any of that in chat. I mean it. What's up, Elyon? How you doing? Good to see you. After, the oh, Inkweaver, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. The sacrifice will That's very be kind fulfilled. of you. Thank you, thank you. Starting with this one. <laughs> oh, then God, No. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. 
Wait, what? <coughs> oh no! Oi King, would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Yeah, keep her alive. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. I don't really want to kill she anyone, even if they are die. a spy, to be honest with you, chat. Oh, shit! Okay, maybe I should have killed her. Oh, fuck. I was trying to save your life and you tried to kill me? Wait, and now- wait, why, why is she just getting away like that? Oh, we could just let her go. Chat, she tried to kill us. What do you mean zero deaths? That's not one of us. <gasps> Guys, I didn't do that. Guys, I actually, that wasn't. Shit, I shouldn't have killed her. Fuck, I didn't even want to do that. Shake my head, my head, exactly. Oh, God. guys. Guys, I think I might have fucked up a little bit. Fuck, I should have let her go, man. You oh suck. my god. Hey, no, you, actually. Saga, man. Saga man. What's up, Katie Buggy? How are you doing today? If you don't kill her, the credit rolls and the game's over. See, chat actually saved us because that would have been the shortest stream ever. I'm actually making this a longer stream. It's so fucking sick. these people obviously like a different holy shit gods give me strength A 
mana moon god? Why? They don't even sound like humans outside that door. It sounds like zombies or something. Help me, Gutierrez. Who is out there? What have you, Arcadian, done to unleash such force? We've been cursed. Wait, maybe it isn't the humans out there. We thought you were the They sound like me when. I think sack the temple at the pool. He builds this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. We should take that mask and wear it, honestly. Oh no, but then everyone would think people would think we were him and Try to kill us. Two months. To my King Kojmiso, my only purpose in life is to give you money and serve you, my Persian King Kojmiso. <laughs> Miss Daddy, holy shit, I can't believe you've been subscribed for 32 months. Holy shit, man. Thank you so much for the 32 months. I really appreciate it. Good to see you. How are you doing? 32 months? Holy fuck. That's a very, that's actually a very long time. That's like almost, wait, how many months is three years? 12, 24, 36. Holy fuck. That's definitely more months than minutes. Holy shit. Follow the fool into the abyss. Oh wait, Nana Puss is here? All right, after this, after this um, cutscene's done, we'll watch the Nana Puss video. This is your temple. Hi, Nana Puss. The way out through the catacombs. No, I don't think I don't think so, Miss Daddy. You have no choice. Shit, and you got that founder's badge, Miss Daddy. That's so clean, man. That's so sick. I'm going home now or river my baguettes. Wait, what are you saying, man? What does that even mean? Help me with this. Safe trip, Nick. Okay. All right, chat. I, I, there's a there's a, a, a Nanapus video that I apparently really need to watch. Remember when Miss Daddy came into your chat to bully you and now took loads of you took loads of dollars off her lol? Yeah man, I do remember that actually. Very true. Uh can someone please link me the video? CP Snailson, do you still have it? Uh I actually have no idea what this video is, by the way. It's only like a minute long, apparently. What is this? Ripped from an old VHS tape I had lying around, no affiliation with the stream. This is safe for stream, right, chat? I'm trusting you guys, right? This has made my day. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. I'm gonna trust you guys. I'm trusting you. If I brought this tree, chat, and I wasn't a streamer, this would sit in the box for the next 10 years because I'd have to build it and I don't want to build it, so I would never do it. True. But because I'm a streamer, I have my own TV show. So now you guys can watch me build it and now it, that means it also gets done, which is great. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> No! Whoa!
Wait, that's actually, this is actually really cute. Oh, this is like Misa had poo on his tongue. <laughs> oh, Bugsy. What the fuck, man? No, man. No! No! <laughs> I mean, that is actually technically true. This is filmed in front of a live audience. Holy shit, that was amazing. That was actually so fucking good. <laughs> Nanapus, thank you so much. I love that. That was actually so fucking good. If I brought this tree chat, he show. So I low-key want to start fucking playing this on stream at the start of streams. That is so good. <laughs> oh, that was really, really good. <laughs> Thank you, Nanapus. I love that. <laughs> That's really good. I'll have to get Nanapus to send me it so I can download it. Nanapus, that was amazing, man. Honestly. People are going crazy for it. That was so good. Do it. New intro. All right, fine. It reminds me of, like, uh, the intro for The Office or something. I don't know, but, like, better. That was really good. Oh, shit! Oh, still managed to do it in time. Oh, Nanobus, man. Back to the game, everyone. Focus up, focus up. That was so good. What's up, Theo? Follow me. What's up, Crouton? There is a way out through the storm. Dude? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. What was that? A helmet? Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, wait, because they're not... Starting off nice and slow and steady. Nice and easy. What, again? Oh God. Easy. Easily. It's a fucking rat? Wait, no, there was definitely a person a there. There was definitely a person there. All this death for nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. Press and hold RT to pick up. Oh, God! <laughs> to move. Find the secret exits. Wait. Find the secret exits. Search the catacombs. Okay. Find the secret exit. Bro, this game is sick. Okay, there's something there. We are cursed by our own actions. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us. What? For gold. What am I looking for? Glory. For green. Maybe the patterns? I don't know if I'm supposed to like be memorizing these patterns, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, oh, maybe it's something to do with the markings on the wall? It's gotta be a reason. Can't I read it? Yeah, sorry chat, I should actually be reading it, you're so right. Premonition unlocked. Okay, so the premonitions in this game are like little tablet stones on the floor. Okay. So it's a... It's a man coming out of the ground and it looks like he has a fin on his head. <laughs> what? 
What is this? Ongoing tally. Zoned out while reading. I don't zone out when I'm reading. Six pauses. Kills by Koji one. No, that doesn't... That doesn't even count, man. Alright, Arisen. He either has a fin on his head or like a sword coming out his head or something. He might have actually... It might be an injury. Uh, okay. And then I, I can't go down in the middle. Right, okay. Let's look at this again really quick. I'm, I've got to be missing something here. Okay, so I can't... Okay, so on the on the top one, we got two people on the left. Look like they're hitting the Luddy. We've got someone passing something to someone else. And then the middle one, we've got like an archer and some people. Looks like someone's playing a trumpet. There's just no way I need to memorize this, right? Find the secret exit. Don't tell me I just gotta press A on the door, man. Here. Help me with this. <laughs> I can't hit the Ladina. Not true. You first. We're safe down here. You first. Okay. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Um... Let's be respectful. We help each other. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. We help each other. Nice. And now we're bros. There is always hope. Cool. Hello, John Updog. What's up, Claire? What was that? I don't know how that was a secret exit. I guess because it wasn't glowing. We're not alone Whoa. Down here. Whoa, what the fuck? Jesus. Oh god. Oh god. Over here. Oh no. I don't really understand because, oh my god, what the fuck? Uh. Spam it, spam it, oops. I was just pressing it. Wait, what the fuck was that? Demento! <laughs> Alright. Our only hope is to stand together. Stand you. and fight, baby. Let's if go. We both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Oh god, I kinda wanna betray. I kinda wanna betray. No, <laughs> no, let's fight together. Let's fight together. We fight together. We stand together. Yes. Bros. Bros. The sword and the shield. Nice! <laughs> Help! Okay. okay, we're kind of getting our, we're kind of getting our ass beat right now. Nice. Smash. Ooh. Nice.
Feels like the skill checks are harder on this one than the last one, actually. They're, like, quicker. What the fuck is that? Wait! Wait, what? I thought we won! Dead. Let's get that fucking rock music on again, baby. <laughs> Guys, that's not my fault. I think everyone died there no matter what I did. Hello, Taru. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Hello, Brilliums. What's up, Artsy Witchling? Hello, Mary Cutie. What's up, Breezy Cheesy? Hello, John Up Dog. Yeah, I think this is BTS, yeah. What's up, good dude? Hello, Bree Man. Hello, Hera Horn. How are you today? Good to see you. Hello, George. Two hellos for John today. I take one of them back. In fact, I take both back. What's up, Tavina? Hello, Kelly. I know you guys have already been here. I'm just saying hey now, I guess. Jeez. You What's up, Irene? On the edge of an abyss. Hmm. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation? Or be lost in the darkness forever. No, I think I'll, I'll get the salivation, yeah. Let me speak Let's salivate. Me. You're about Please. to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. The others intro is actually sick. ...will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. You're probably keen to get started. Let us not dally. Any longer. Is As it good to see aware, each other again, though? I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do. I wonder if he's. Decision, I wonder if he's in the new game as well or not, or whether he's just in this trilogy. This is my repository. Because it's different people in the quarry and. Stories. Stories about in Till Dawn. I can't remember enemies, who it was in Till Dawn. Loyalty and betrayal, life, I remember the old lady. And death. In the quarry. Understand that I am not here to help you. Oh, is the or devil in me part of this set of games? To bend the rules from time to time. Oh! To descend into oh the shit, I didn't know that. Oh, so they literally do perfectly lead on from each other. Oh shit, even more, more reason to play them all then. Foolish. You're foolish. Perhaps yeah. there is more to you than meets the eye. Yeah, there is actually. I'm not like uh, other guys. Let me give you a few words of advice. <laughs> okay. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. A 
but alas, sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Fort Vale. Oh, did he just pout his lips at us at the end? I'm pretty sure he just puckered up at the end there. Hi, Poke! Oh, Poke, good to see you. How are you doing? What's up, Piper Points? What's up, Monkey? Wasn't he the therapist in Until Dawn? Oh, wait, there was a therapist in Until Dawn. Yeah, that's it. Was it him? <coughs> I don't remember what the therapist looked like in that game. No, he wasn't. Okay, no, it wasn't him. I think I'm going to really like this game. Confident and intolerant. Rational and insecure. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Oh, is my meeting room prepared? Or apologies for arriving early? Well, let's just be friendly, shall apologies we? Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. I'm glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to Guys, go. Guys, I can't even kill anyone right now you if I tried. What do you mean? Then you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? Um, annoyed, careful with that case, or restrained, this is my assistant. Bro, is this, this guy's a fucking asshole, right? All the options are my just- My assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Cold check. First lieutenant, cold check. Well, the briefing room? They're all assholes? Oh, great. Wait, what? Who's that? Oh. What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? Rachel King. Commanding and abrasive. Nick K. Defensive and romantic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, huh? Guys, I have to pee so bad. I can't hold... I was trying to, like, get through this bit, but I just can't hold it. So I'm going to say really quickly, guys, if you have not yet got yourself um, some snacks, a drink, if you haven't taken your meds today or your vitamins and it's an appropriate time to do so, or if you need a pee or you want to go get your blanket or get your heater on, this is the time right now. I'm trying, I've am i been trying to hold it in, but I just can't do it. I can't do it. So I'll be back in a sec. BRB. Hello, chat. Sorry, I had to go put my phone on charge as well because I was thinking oh, my phone's almost dead and if I don't charge it now, I'm going to forget to do it and then I'm going to go out tonight and not have any phone battery and that would be really stressful. Um, all right, is everyone ready to go back in? You, he's back. He back. Oh, he's back scatter. What the fuck, man? Definitely wash his hands. Yeah, I actually did. Thank you. What's up, Odon? Done. How you doing? Everyone ready? We're gonna go in. We're going in. Oh. That's okay, gal pal cal man. Okay. All right, let's do it. These last few weeks, you've you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Um, reassuring, I'll find a way to tell him, reluctant, we should put this on ice. Let's be reassuring. Baby, I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. 
Oh. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. Oh, shit. Have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set Yeah, it up. does seem like they just re reuse like the character models or like barely mind. change them. It seems Only like a few weeks ago, between the games. It up in here, <laughs> down, down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> We got the CIA, we got okay, the move to the briefing room. DIA, the Air Force. But also, we're going to look for premonitions and stuff, right? Because we always do. God bless America. There might be something secret hidden somewhere. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be anything secret. I see you, old man. Busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. Well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? Wanna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself. These vibes are not it, chat. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Wait, so, guys, yeah, wait, let me clear this up, right? So, who... Collections and characters, right, so... Where's the cheat... Is Rachel the cheater? Rachel's the cheater, right? She's the cheater, right? And then... We're playing as Eric. Uh, so she's cheating with Nick, but uh, sorry, guys, who's she? Who's she actually with? Is she with? Is she with Eric? Eric, yeah. So Rachel is cheating. Her and the husband are separated, but not divorced. Oh, wait, that's not cheating. Oh, they... Wait. They're separated. I thought she hadn't told him yet. I'm so confused. Okay, all right. We're just going to keep playing. I just want to make sure that I try to... So he... Okay, so he doesn't... Eric doesn't know that Rachel... A Nick are now together. And she hasn't told him. They're separated by distance, not like officially separated. She hasn't told him they've just been apart. They're married and not separated, but living apart. Oh! They're separated, but he's a man, so he doesn't get it. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't think... So she is cheating, actually. She, they, they are cheat. She is a cheater. She is... They are cheating. 
or they're doing something shady at least. Many bullets, you know. So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. <laughs> I'm your commander. Or polite, I'm Eric King. I don't know whether to just play a fucking arsehole when I'm playing as this guy. It seems like it really wants me to play the arsehole. I'm not going to do it, though. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. What's up, Fran? Give the colonel full side access. Hi, Snazby. Sir. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. <sighs> the queen bitch? Restrained, we know each other, or in, in di indigestant. That's my wife. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, Hotshot. You fucked up. You fucked up calling my wife the queen bitch. Sure, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Hmm. What's up, Giselle? Hello, Amanda X Flower. Right. All right. Let's get you shut up. Okay, we're Stand actually playing. Um, I'll leave examine. The stuff to you. Okay. Sorry, group lady. objectives. What is this place anyway? Wait, it's I want to listen to what they're saying. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess you damn like to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. Whoa. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, I didn't even get to explore the room. Please don't play a cutscene. Colonel King. It's the cheetah. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. Wait. That's how you guys greet each other? Okay, apologetic. I should have called. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. Uh-oh. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the Chat. presentation. I said it before and I'll say it again. The vibes are way yeah. off, man. These vibes are not it at all. Oh, bro, did I actually not get to, like, explore this room now because I did that? What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. True, Angelo. They would not be allowed in the Discord. Access would be denied. Facility. 
This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. I actually agree. I feel like if Eric lost the grass, the grasses, the glasses, I, I feel like I would like him more. Or not be so de inclined to up. dislike him. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us. Oh, he's insecure. Yeah, true. It did respect. say he was insecure. Maybe that's why he wears them. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Um, compliant. I'll request air support or confident. We keep this small. Um... No, we keep this small. We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. This feel right to you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We're cool in the shots. Until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Oh, support would have been great, yeah. Support would, support honestly was like the better option. I was just trying to... I was trying to... I was, guys, to be honest with you, I was kind of just trying to role play. I was like, okay, I'm going to get in this guy's head. I'm going to be him. I'm the commander. I'm being questioned. I've got a big ego. I'm fucking upset about it. And now I'm going to say no. I'm going to stick to my own ways. And I'm going to do what I think is best because I have um, a big ego. I don't know, man. I'm just role playing, chat. I'm just get it, guys. I'm role playing, okay? Don't don't question my decisions. I'm playing the I'm playing my part. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. I'm playing I'm oh, playing the part. Sweetie. Look, good rug down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with that. There's a lot of lore in this Thank game. You, I feel like we've watched a lot more than we've played so far at Eric, least. We need to talk. There's something <gasps> I have to tell you. Oh shit. You know, it wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Excited. This is our big break. Intimate, I've missed you. No, we should be honest. Wait, there is no honesty here. We're gonna say we've missed each other. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Eric. Please, let me finish. Oh. Not a day went by when you weren't on my mind. When I didn't want you by my side. I've missed you so much, Rach. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it. This is. Things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. Uh oh. A lot worse. Oh wait, this is really sad. Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I. There is no you and I. It's over. Oh. <gasps> Rage. Don't say that. Oh no. 
You're not wearing your wedding ring. Uh, hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? Who are you bonking, man? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Martin? How are you doing today? Are you feeling any better? Uh, Saga, thank you for the bits, man. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I really hope you're feeling better today, Martin. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet he seems alright. He's looking at his he lightsaber now. Explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. And now I can finally search the room. It says, wait for the download, speak to the team, and inspect the briefing room. All right. Let's just do this one at a time. We're going to go through everything. Wait, is that banana? <laughs> it looks like peeled bananas. What is that? What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? Give me some more shooters. Oh, we should have got support in. Relaxed, so you're my technician? Provocative, are you afraid of heights? Oh, you see him rolling his eyes? He's so sassy right you're now. Technician. I'm afraid about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take him clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Okay, a reminder not to speak to this guy ever climbing again. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. What did you just call me? It was one time! Once! <laughs> God. That's so embarrassing. Uh, subject, survey group objectives to d directorate, directorate to of central, oh, to the directorate of central intelligence. And this is it again. The objectives of the survey group are as stated. Organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition government agencies and armed forces, UK, US, and, and Oz. Apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals, facilities, and operations relative to weapons of mass destruction. Organize and direct war operations to survey and exploit WMD sites within Iraq. Shit, I zoned out while reading. That is actually something I do. Organize and direct war operations to survey and exploit WMD sites within Iraq. The survey group reports direct to CENTCOM and the Director of Central Intelligence. Operational findings in support of operation... In support of Iraqi freedom to be published quarterly. Okay. Oh, Nana Milky, I know, but I, I still feel like I need to memorize everything. Oh, confidential? Secret found. Confidential Operation Iraq Survey Group Mailman Subject Bandit Activity Soran District Report Disappearance to Aid Workers Soran District Workers named as uh Dodger Down Yo what <laughs> Fred Pins, thank you so much for the gift of the entity. I really appreciate it. Have I played Elden Ring? What's up, Entity? No, I, I well actually yeah, I played for like I played for a couple of hours, and I actually really liked that game. I don't know why I didn't carry on playing that. Thank you, Breadbins, man. I appreciate that. Um, failed to make contact two weeks ago. Workers presumed robbed and killed. Message end. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. News article. 
Gentle reminder that amount is soon. Oh, I'm not playing tonight. Thank you, though. Um, American overseas, mission accomplished. President Bush declares end of hostilities in Iraq. Manny Sherman executed. Killer un uncooperative during final hours. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What? What is this? Under provisional Iraqi control is expected to be placed under Iraqi control. U.S. command, Polish command, U.K. command. Okay. Yeah, that whistling is so annoying, right? Honestly, it's really bugging me too. It's like it's like rubbing me up the wrong way entirely. Imagine working with that person. Oh my god. It sounds like they're doing the um Downloads complete. Let's get to I don't the know, it sounds familiar. At least whistle well. True man. True man. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? Yeah, the Hunger Games whistle. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. That's what it was reminding me of. I wouldn't really want to be in an environment or work in an environment where people will just shit on you for being nice. But I guess that's kind of just the, the whole world. Uh, stubborn and courageous. I missed the name though. I missed this person's name. Oh, it was Salim? This is Salim. So you guys love Salim? Or is it Salim? Maybe it's Zane, Salim. And a gate. Then? Okay. Highgate University. Application. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admin admission to Highgate University to read mythology in academic year 2003-2004. This offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements, failing which the university will deregister you from the course. Completion of your college studies for the projected AAB standard of grades. Obtaining a student visa from the UK Home Office. Oh, in the UK. We understand that the current world events may create complications for your visa application and relocation to the United Kingdom. I assure you that the faculty will assist you and support Assist in and support your visa application in every way. For over 120 years, Highgate University has helped talented young individuals from all walks of life achieve, achieve personal success, allowing them to thrive in the educational and professional world. We look forward to embarking you on your journey to success. Well, that's nice. You've achieved something that nobody in this family has before. I'm so proud of you, Zane. Now, now go bag that grade. Love always, Dad. <laughs> what is that cat apple emote? It's actually really cute. I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. Oh, is this a gift? Happy birthday, Zane. Koi Zoe. My boy is becoming a man. Love always dad. Wait, this is all really lovely. God, I hope something bad doesn't happen to Zane. I feel like this game is just setting us up to get very, very attached to Zane. And how successful he is and how exciting his life is going to be. And then it's going to really oh. hurt us. Why is that picture smashed on the floor? Wait, where's Zane? Not like this, not already. Where? Can I open the present? I can't, can I? No. 
Wait, seriously, is something happened in this house? That picture is smashed on the floor, but everything else looks fine. I don't think there's anything to inspect in here. Oh god, this camera angle's freaking me out. Ugh. Wait, everything looks... Uh, whoa, wait, the, it looks like the drawers have all been emptied. Or is it just messy? I don't know. <gasps> Zane? Zane? It's a mythology book. Ancient Mes Mesopotamian mythology. I don't I actually have no idea what that is. Oh, okay, I'm not going to read all this, surely. Oh this one, my god. Surely, a, okay, maybe I'll just read this page because this page has a secret on it. It's like the first civilization ever. Oh, wait, that's actually really cool. Wait, that's actually might be interesting. Maybe I'm going to read it. Okay. Oh, it's not even that long. It's not even that long. I read a whole parenting book yesterday. <laughs> I know. That's the reason I'm scared to read anything now because I'm like, God, what if it's just a waste of information? That parenting book was useless, man. And it went on for like 15 minutes. The heavens were no place for mortals. The Sumerians believed that the sky was formed of a configuration of domes each hewn from a different precious stone. The outermost stone dome embodied An, An, the god of the sky. The middle dome was home to the gods of heaven, and the lowermost dome was the abode of the stars. The number of domes varied between three and seven. The number seven itself had magical properties and recurs frequently throughout Mesopotamian, Tamian, Mesopotamian myth. Seven demons, seven thrones, seven spirits, and the seven gates of the underworld. To the Sumerians... God, all I can see is that people talk flashing. To the Sumerians, the stars and the planets each had their own deities. Utu was the sun. Nana later altered as Suen or Sin was the moon. You hear that, Nana? We've got two Nanas in chat. Uh, Nergal was ascribed to Mars. Nabu to Mercury. Marduk to Jupiter and Inanna, another Inanna to Venus and Ninu Ninurta to Saturn. Please stop. What man? <coughs> Jay said, "Hey, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back. I really appreciate that. Good to see you. Thank you for the prime." What's up, Agent Brook? The heavens were truly the abode of the divine, and the earth below was given to humans. No soul could travel upwards in this world view. Instead, they were confined to their earthly domain, even in death. It is no wonder that the Sumerians were among the world's first astron astron astronomers. They charted the positions of the stars, identified planets, and plotted the movement of constellations. Although surviving records from the period are incomplete, it is now widely believed that the discoveries of the Meso Potamian astronomy were passed on to the Western world and formed on the basis of the classical Grecian sky maps. Shit like this is actually so fucking cool, man. Like, actually. I wish I knew more about stuff like this. <laughs> uh, chapter 6. The Ancient Mesopotamian Underworld. In ancient belief, the, sky, the world was made of earth, sea, and sky, and enclosed in a box of imperishable tin. The underworld, known as Kur, or the House of or the House of Ashes, was where people went when they died. Souls were led to a cavern deep underground, where they endured a shadowed existence. Here, the only drink was dust, and the only food was clay. Huh? I'd rather drink clay and eat dust. I would. I'd rather it be the other way round. There was no light, only darkness. There were no rewards or punishments for deeds done in life. Instead, a soul's comfort was determined by their burial. 
As the dead were often buried under or near the home, daily sacrifices of food and drink were made to the spirits of the departed. Family members who poured wine into a dead person's grave would quench their thirst in the house of ashes. The message to the living was to live well, be buried richly, and have many descendants who would supply food and drink in the afterlife, afterlife, afterlife for years to come. The dead could return to earth as ghosts to punish those descendants who did not leave offerings of food and drink to them? Vengeful ghosts could inflict misfortune and sickness on the living and maladies such as headaches. Wait, maladies? <laughs> and maladies such as headaches, stomach pains, fever, and mental disorders could be attributed to ghosts. Mesopotamian healers ascribed many illnesses to the action of ghosts, while others were caused by the gods or demons. What? My ladies. Oh god, chat, I, what the fuck? How has time gone so fast? I have to go really soon. I can't believe that time has gone so fast. I looked at the time like two minutes ago and it was half an hour ago. That 30 minutes has gone so quick. Zane not again, he says? Not again, what? Idiot. Wait, what? Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Hello. Where are you? Yes, he's with Zain with... He's Zain with your brother. Yes, he's with your brother. They're going to Uh, oh, I found stolen goods. No, let's just be like, oh, I have a gift for him. Oh, so Zane's been stealing. Uh, okay. Captain Basri, Alan. I'm on it. Doesn't hurt at all. The two is up. Lado gay, I say. Lado gay, I'll end it. It'll do. Yeah, for the Milhar, the Hills, the Halas, the Serna. Not a Kalam Ferry. Mahadish is sell. Lado gay. Would he are dinner? Wahna lesson at Arabia. Um, okay, so we can say compliant, got it, or defiant, I must find my son. Oh, shit. I don't think we should be defiant, but I kind of want to be. I don't want to get anyone hurt. Fuck. Oh. Uh... Oh, I feel bad, man. Oh, God, if something happens to him and he doesn't get to see Zane, I'm going to be really fucking upset. Maybe it's up to me to keep him alive, though. If it's up to me, then everything's going to be fine, chat. Because I always keep everyone alive. Easily. Roger that. Tango Mike, over. I definitely feel like this game's coming together now. Oh, take it easy, be written -y. Thank you very much. In face on, boys. We're coming in fast. Hey, Merwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. God, I love. There's nothing I love more than lads banter, man. Honestly, I fucking love it. It's so funny. I got a fucking ear infection. Well, damn. How long you been sitting on now? Oh yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. 
Oh, he got him with the mama. Hey. So, yeah. Bro, if I was in this com conversation, I'd be right? sat in fucking That's silence in the shit. corner and awkwardly. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Damn, Rachel. <laughs> hey! What the fuck y'all laughing at? Oh, wait. It's not funny now that. It's not funny anymore. It's not allowed to be funny anymore. It's only funny if I'm bullying someone. Are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Concerned or good buddy or provocative, can I count on you? Let's just say you're good buddy. Hey, yeah, the woman wasn't okay? allowed to make the joke. No way. That's when it stopped being funny. Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. Supportive. I've got oh, all curious. What's up? Uh, let's say what's up. So tell me what's up. Remember, I told you I had something with uh, one of the Johns on base. Shit, Nikki, it's about a girl. He never did tell me who was. What if he snakes you? What if he tells them? You're fucking with me. Yeah. Fuck is about right. Holy shit, Marine. You gotta keep a lid on that with the colonel around, you hear? Five by five, sir. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine. You've never thing. seen this bit before? It means always loyal. So what, it's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's gotta be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. We're good to go, Marines. This is what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! Hoorah! Chat, when this cutscene's done, I'm gonna have to go. It's really annoying. I feel really bad. It's a very short stream today. But I'll be back tomorrow to carry on playing this game. Captain! What's in there? Oh my god, 50 men, you're bloody well treating us, you naughty boy. <laughs> Take it easy, Taru. Have an amazing rest of your day. Is it Key's birthday today? Wait, happy birthday, Key. Is it really? Happy birthday, Key. Happy Key day. American, the Asakir, the American gum. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. Wait, fuck. Assault the building, fan out and hold fire? I'm gonna be cautious. Fan out and hold fire. We're gonna sigh out this shit. Wait, oh, I'm playing as the Americans? Wait, I didn't even know who I was playing at. Fuck. I'm getting confused now. Okay, I'm playing as, I'm playing as the Americans. We're the Americans. We're the British Americans. Yeah, we are playing as the bad guys right now. Clear room. Oh, 
I'm so scared that something's gonna happen to Salim or Zane. So you can tell I really care because I remember their names. I like really care. This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, a set rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? Uh... Let's just say... Skeptical. They're just shepherds. Colonel, I don't think these men are hostile. I'm starting to think they're just shepherds. Are you sure? Yeah, so leave them the fuck alone, man. You may be right. If these are civilians, Lieutenant Kolchak made the right call to not go in guns blazing. Thank God! That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than a virgin. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Oh, Are that was gonna questions? be such a yeah, top wicked banter joke, man. I wish that we could have heard that one. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. So much as raises an eyebrow. Uh, Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh yeah. So is that this uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? God, I knew I didn't like that guy. I knew I didn't like him. I'm just gonna pat you down. God, chat, I really need to go. This game, like, doesn't really give you a chance to not be playing. <sighs> oh no! I'll make him talk or any orders, ma'am. Oh, please don't fucking hurt any anyone. Any orders, ma'am? Stand by. I've got this. Hasalak Marra Tanya. Bin Makan El Magazan. What's that? The hell is that? It's like that stick thing from the last Some game. Kind of oh no, it's not nothing like that. Possibly pagan. Ada. What? Oh, that's what I thought. Enraged, fuck your voodoo shit. Or curious, what the? Curious. What the fuck? Into can hena. Oh shit. I've had enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. All right, chat, I've got to leave it there. I have to leave it there because I'm actually, I, I was supposed to go seven minutes ago. I'm really sorry that it's such a short stream today. I feel really bad, but there's just nothing I can do. It was a really long day, and by the time me and Abby got our tree and decorated it and stuff, I, yeah, it just, it, today is just one of those days where time went so fast, and I was like, oh my god.